All right, what we've got today on the uh, list of things to do is to correct a fuel imbalance on a MEP802. We have a situation here where the exhaust from one cylinder to the other is they don't, they're not matching up. We're seeing like 50, 60 degrees of uh, delta T between the two cylinders. And I want to see if I can get that a little closer. So we're going to make some adjustments to the engine. I'll kind of take you along, show you what we're doing and uh, show you what we end up in the in the end so hopefully when we get done we'll have a very tight uh, temperature between cylinders one and two on the exhaust and this unit will run much smoother get better fuel economy and overall just be a happier little generator let's get to it so i've got the side of the generator open let's take a look at the side of the engine and kind of show you what it's going to take i think it's going to be easier for us to really uh, see what's going on on a parts unit over here that I have the lid off of but let's just kind of show you the space that we're working in right now all right so here we have a parts machine and you can look in here we got a little better light so maybe you can see a little better so on this one you can see that we have a, a nut right here this is what holds the injector down and up here we have the hard line so we need to loosen this so that the injector will turn We'll loosen this up a little bit and then using the fuel line itself kind of as a holding point, we'll either move this clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on whether we want to increase or reduce fueling on this cylinder. So we have two cylinders, one here and one here, and we can make these adjustments independently. So if we wanted to, we could add some fuel to this one, take some fuel away from this one or any combination thereof. So that's basically what we're gonna do. Uh, it's just a little easier, a little better light. So let me get the tools out and I'll get those um, connectors broken free and we'll make an adjustment on the other machine, start it up and we'll look and see what the exhaust temperatures look like. So right now, this side is running hot and this side is running cooler. I'm gonna loosen this line, loosen that nut and then give it a little bit of a turn counterclockwise to see if we can reduce the fuel some. And if that goes well, it will uh, bring our temperatures down. Okay, so I've made the adjustment here. So now we're gonna fire this thing up and see what it does. Find the fuel system. job done cylinder temperatures look good as far as exhaust goes unit is running smooth handling a load no problem so we're going to put this one in the completed category and uh, move on to the next one 